Today, on this fourth Sunday of Easter, we hear Jesus describe himself as the Good Shepherd, the one who lays down his life for his sheep. And later on, he appeals to us, feed my lambs, look after my sheep, feed my sheep, come follow me. Jesus calls upon all of us to be good shepherds as well, intentionally caring for those in need. Responses to the words of Jesus today might see us want to dedicate our lives to shepherd-like service, perhaps in holy orders or in other forms of leadership in our church community. Some others will provide this service through health and aged care, others in police or emergency services. Indeed, every act of care for those in need is a shepherd-like activity. Now, a particular form of shepherding comes to mind this week as we celebrate Anzac Day. On Anzac Day, we honour the service and sacrifice of those who have been prepared to lay down their lives in the cause of restoring and maintaining peace in our world. Most Australians have come to see the Anzac spirit as the foundation of our national identity, inspiring us all to be people of service to humanity. My lived experience is that the spirit of Anzac is founded in the spirit of following Jesus as good shepherds. As a young boy, I was inspired by hearing firsthand of the service of my family members who served in World War I and World War II in faith, hope and love. And I joined the army at age 17 and continued to serve in uniform until age 65. During that time, I certainly exercised my faith in action and had the opportunity to be a good shepherd, both as an infantry officer and then subsequently as a chaplain. And my radio call sign as a chaplain was Shepherd. And like other chaplains, I carried a shepherd's crook rather than a rifle. I not only looked after my soldiers, but with them I assisted in response to natural disasters in Australia and overseas and in numerous peacekeeping and peacemaking operations. Friends, may we be grateful that our service people have saved the lives of many, many people in need and restored peace in many parts of the world. But that has come at the cost of more than 100,000 of them giving their lives prematurely and many, many others being wounded or injured as a result of their service. May we honour and remember them this Anzac Day. May we all serve as good shepherds and know Lest we forget, like Jesus, our service will involve sacrifice.